this chair is another great clue to this week's riddle. Did you guess the answer? It's owls. Let's go learn more about these amazing birds that live in the Ozarks. You might already know that owls are nocturnal, which means they do their hunting at night. What are some good tools that a hunter would need? How about good eyesight? Owls have huge eyes to let in a lot of light. So if you were an owl, your eyes would be as big as your fists. Owls can see as well at night as we can see on a cloudy day. Their eyesight is eight to 10 times better than ours is, which means an owl can see a beetle on the sidewalk from six stories up. Owls have such large eyes that they can't turn them in their heads, so they actually have to turn their head around to see different directions. An owl can turn its head three quarters of the way around, whereas a person can only turn their head about one quarter of the way. And that's because owls have twice as many neck bones as we do. Owls need to be able to hear their prey scampering around on the ground or even under snow. Owls can hear 10 times better than we can. Their ears are in the side of their head, covered up by feathers. And their faces help to funnel sound to their ears. Some kinds of owls have asymmetrical ears, one is higher than the other, to help them pinpoint sound better. Owls have such good hearing that they rely on it more than on their sight. A hunter like the owl needs to be able to fly silently and to blend in with its surroundings, basically like a ninja. The good news is owls are the ninjas of the bird world. They have large rounded wings and they have fringes at the edges of their feathers so that they have less air resistance when they fly. And this helps owls be super silent as they swoop in on unsuspecting prey. Not only that, but their feathers are usually gray, brown, or white, so they blend in really well with any tree that they're perched in. So an owl might fluff itself up to seem really big and aggressive and scare off a potential attacker, or an owl can sit up really straight and close its eyes and try to blend in with a tree it's sitting in. And owls can be really hard to spot. You're lucky if you see one. A hunter needs a good way to catch and kill its prey, right? Owls have the perfect tools to do this. An owl will swoop in on its prey, catch it with its sharp talons, and then an owl can use its really sharp curved beak to kill its prey and eat it. So because owls have these features, we call them raptors, along with other predatory birds, such as eagles, hawks, and falcons. Any animal parts that an owl can't digest, it will later throw up in the form of a pellet. So if you dissect an owl pellet, you're likely to find teeth, bones, insect exoskeletons, and lots of fur, which give us a clue as to what that owl ate most recently. Now that we've learned about the really cool adaptations owls have to be great hunters, let's talk about some of the owls that live here in the Ozarks. One of the most common owls in the Ozarks is the barred owl. Barred owls are named for their striped or barred feathers on their chest. A barred owl is about as big as a house cat, but only weighs one and a half to two pounds. Their song often sounds like, who cooks? Who cooks for you all? <laughs> the largest owl you would encounter is the great horned owl. This tiger of the sky is at the top of the food chain, eating rabbits, skunks, and even other owls. It has ear tufts. They're just feathers though, not ears. That make it look even more intimidating, and it can be up to two feet tall. But most of that impressive size is just feathers. Great horned owls only weigh about three to four pounds. If you hear a deep hooting that sounds kind of like, who's awake? Me too. You're probably hearing a great horned owl. Eastern screech owls are quite small, about the size of a robin, but they are feisty. They nest in tree cavities created by woodpeckers. Screech owls eat insects, small reptiles, and rodents. Their song sounds like an eerie whinny that echoes through the woods. 
barn owls are Ozark residents too. And I bet you can guess where they live. That's right, in old barns and nest boxes. Barn owls are mostly white with a heart-shaped face. This species is so unique that it's in a completely separate family from all the other owls. Although less vocal, barn owls sometimes let out a loud, startling screech. There are a few other kinds of owls that we occasionally see in the Ozarks. Snowy owls from up north and burrowing owls from the west sometimes visit the Ozarks. Long-eared and short-eared owls are seen once in a while. The northern sawwet owl is the smallest owl that we ever see around here. In the winter of 2014 to 2015, researchers from the University of Arkansas visited ONSC and captured a sawwet owl in Arkansas for the very first time. It's really exciting to know that these little visitors from the north think that ONSC is ideal winter habitat. Well, I'd say we're owl experts now. We've learned how owls are superb nighttime hunters. And the owls you're most likely to encounter in the Ozarks are the barred owl, the great horned, barn, and screech owls. What can we do to stand up for these incredible birds? The biggest thing is to protect their habitat. Owls need forests and grasslands for hunting and nesting. So let's make sure we're taking care of the wild land all around us, even in our own backyards. This way, we'll make sure that owls have a place to live for a long, long time. Mm -hmm.